day 13, and we're on Genesis 6-4, the famous verse where the Nephilim show up for the first time. The mysterious Nephilim, and there are lots of uh, kind of wild theories about the identity of the Nephilim. I've done a video uh, that's less than 10 minutes long. You can look this up called The Nephilim Are the Canites, or Kenites, uh, because simply put, that's who they are. They they're from the line of Cain. So you'll remember in Genesis 4, we have the genealogy of the line of Cain. And then in Genesis 5, we have the line of Seth. Uh, so the Nephilim are simply those from the line of Cain. And I've already gone into this, and it's quite easy, easy to prove using the sources. So let's have some fun with uh, Gematria today. And I'll show you something very odd about uh, the Nephilim. And there's a Gematria that shows uh, that, in fact, uh, the sources are correct and the Nephilim are the Cainites. So you see here, Ha Nephilim, it has the value 215. So even if you don't know the Hebrew alphabet, Try to remember what this word looks like. Remember this form. And so we have the value 215. And as I said, the Nephilim are simply the Cainites. Here's the Cainites, as you can find it in 1 Chronicles 255. Also has the value 215. So Ha Nephilim and Ha Canim, the Cainites have the value 215. Uh, I wanted to show quickly Numbers 13.33 is the second time you'll find the Nephilim. But it's interesting because you'll also find, and it's talking about the giants here, we have B'nai Anak, which is uh, the children of the giants or the name of a certain giant. And we have Ha Nephilim here. But if you look over here, we have the Nephilim again, but with a different spelling. You can see these are slightly, slightly different. And the difference is this extra Yud here, which would give it the value 225 versus 215. Now, you have to ask yourself, why would the Torah have this spelling here, which is found 10 times in the entire Tanakh, but with this spelling right beside it, which doesn't show up anywhere else. It's kind of an odd thing to have it in the same verse right next to each other like this. Uh, so it seems to me like it's a little hint to check this out. I'm going to show you something that you may not be familiar with at all, uh, but just bear with me. You'll be able to get it. I'm going to use the Atbash cipher on the text of the Torah or the text of the Tanakh. And atbash simply means that any time that there is an aleph in the Torah or in the text, it will change it to a tav. And any time there's a bait, it will change it to a shin, which is essentially the same as any time there would be an A in English, they would replace it with a Z. Any time there's a B, they would replace it with a Y, and so on and so forth. So you, you understand what's going on here. And I'm going to quickly turn this to show as the substitutions, because it's going to change the text of the Torah. And again, here we're looking for <coughs> the value 215. So ordinarily, this uh, highlighted part wouldn't look like this. These are the substitutions. Um, and these add up to 215, but the original text, which I'll show you, I'll show you right now, uh, doesn't look like that. So once I unclick the substitutions, you'll see that this doesn't actually add up to two. This is the original form. It doesn't add up to 215. Uh, but when you substitute and use atbash, it actually does. So let's change that back now. And we'll go down to Numbers 13.33, which is has that weird spelling of the Nephilim. And 
it's right down here. Ah, okay, so here it is. Numbers 1333. And this is the verse that has the Nephilim and that weird spelling. And you can see here these substitutions. But when you turn off the subs, you'll see that Ha Nephilim, the normal spelling, has the same value now as this with the odd spelling. So when you take vi when you take ha nephilim has the value 215, change around the use the atbash cipher on the Torah, then this becomes the same value as this spelling. So in atbash, this spelling of the nephilim has the same spelling or same value as the alternate spelling which is uh, quite the astonishing coincidence. <laughs>